All right, guys, Pretty Girl Politics here. We're here for another video. Yes, welcome, you guys. Happy Halloween! Happy Halloween! Oh, look at the kitty on the shirt. It's a Halloween kitty. Okay. Anyway, happy um, Halloween! And for those of you who are not in Halloween, happy autumn. We're about to go into November. Yes. The next day. Do, 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 do. <laughs> waiting for fall so I don't want to hear nobody saying that yeah. it's cold outside y'all mm -hmm. all been screaming fall 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 mm -hmm. but anyways we're gonna go ahead and get into our topic today and we're talking about a topic that's been highlighted for a couple of days now it's about Tank the yeah. R&B singer for those who don't know who Tank is he's an R&B singer I think Tank, Tank came out when I want to say maybe the 2000s, not 90s, he, he, 2000s. Tank used to do backup for Tyrese and oh, Gen yeah. Genuine, Babyface, everybody. All those R&B babies out there that mm. love some R&B, y'all know who Tank is. Yeah. And uh, he makes good sexual music, okay? <laughs> so, the, the love making, the R&B and all, all that. that. Yeah, yeah. So. so he had supposedly Tank, well not supposedly, he did. He did an interview with Angela Yee. For all you guys who don't know who Angela Yee is, she um, is a radio host um, out of New York and on the um, Breakfast Club. On the Breakfast Club with Charlemagne, funny ass Charlemagne. Yeah. Um, and she is a uh, DJ there, um, well, host or whatever, a radio personality on the Breakfast Club. And she actually has now started her own podcast. You know, podcast is trying to be the big hot thing, hip with all the celebrities and everybody else. So she normally has her and a couple of friends come on to talk to a couple of celebrities, ask some questions, have like some talk, some fun old coffee talk. And um, Tank was on uh, about a week ago, and it's big. It's a huge controversy because this man decided to bring up. Uh, well, he didn't even bring it up. It was a topic of sex, of sex. Yeah. And everybody in the room was talking about sex, and they were talking about what they would do on first dates and you know early relationships what they will do and what they won't do for beginning relationships sexual wise some people say they don't want a thumb in the butt they don't want uh <laughs> cum all over your face they don't want egg face <laughs> okay and all this other stuff y'all have to go look at it honey because some people on here it might not be too uh sexually inclined and i don't want to get too graphic so go to her podcast, Angela Yee, and you can look at the full video, um, the full interview. But the topic came up, and then it was some type of discussion about performing, a man performing fellatio on another man. And when that came up, Tank made the comment, basically not saying that he has ever performed fellatio, let's get that right, <laughs> on another man. But he did make the comment to say, um, in terms of a man could try if that was their preference to perform fellatio on another man, they might like it, they might not like the taste. They all started laughing in terms of just the comments, the funny comments that were made about it. And he was just trying to state that that performing fellatio on another man once or twice is not the, the format behind being completely gay and being able to be a part of the LGB community. Basically, he's saying that doing that does not just make you fully gay or say that okay yeah now I'm like part of the LGBT community because this is me I'm gay now I'm full I'm out the closet yeah it was pretty so, much it was just pretty much him saying just because you you know give head once or twice to a dude and you're a dude doesn't mean you're gay yeah however People did not like that comment, Ooh, and I'm gonna be honest with you. Before we saw, they came for Tank, baby. Before we saw Dance the interview, concerts? yeah. Before we Dang. saw it, girl. Before we saw the interview, we too was like, excuse me, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But we went and looked at the interview, and we really got to see the context in which he was stating it. Thank you. He's not co-signing homosexuality, no. you guys. And for the people who sitting over there blowing this video up. Talking about they not really entertain no more. They canceling yeah. ticket sales. Not they that. 50 cent. Yo, big beefy <laughs> ass coming on Instagram. Hashtag it because Amari Hardick was seen spot out with Tank the other day. And you're basically trying to say, oh, yeah, you with this gay nigga. No, 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 no. Come on, man. You guys are really blowing it out of proportion. And 50 Cent, I love you. Don't come for me, honey. Because, woo, when 50 Cent comes, he's a come up all right. comes. So okay. 50 Cent. So I, Don't 50 come Cent. for me. Okay. Shoot. I love you. I love Amari Hardik. We all know power. And I love Tank and I love his music. 
I, like Autumn said, I think that people brought it too much out of context. It wasn't that serious. After we watched it, come on, guys. Stop trying to do you running the man's name into the ground yeah, for the no man reason. has been happily married with like five or six children to the love of his life for so many years. I you guys that come out. on. I, I understand after the whole Malik Yoba thing, y'all on uh, y'all y'all triggered. So yeah, Otta, we yeah, came from Malik. Yeah, yeah. We had a reason to come from Malik. <laughs> New York undercover. Yeah. So but it's just like y'all y'all not so after the Malik Yoba whole thing, y'all ain't y'all like I'm not here for it. Don't say nothing about gay this, gay that, don't say nothing about it because that really triggered a lot of you guys. So but you know, guys, give Tank a pass. This man is not co-signing homosexuality. You guys took that way too far away, too far out of context. Give him a pass. I would give him a pass. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm gonna say on it. You don't wanna nothing I, else? I mean, what else can I say? Like, you guys be sometimes doing the most. There's way more important issues going on. What about y'all should be caring about human trafficking, set human sex trafficking of women? What about and, that little baby kill, that was just found children. in a doggone trash can? Um, cupcake, the little sweet baby who they were looking for in Birmingham and couldn't find her for like a week and found her remains in a trash can. Now the monster mm -hmm. that did that shit need to be cut up in pieces you and know. sold to a damn goat slayer, okay? Yeah. <laughs> like there's way more important issues in the world for you guys to be taking silly stuff like what Tank said yeah. and all this other stuff so seriously. Like let's start caring about the real issues and stop being petty about stuff that really is not that serious, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. No, I don't, I don't, this is the first time I'm almost damn near speechless. And it's not like, we want to come with more information, but the thing about it is when me and Autumn actually went and dissected the interview, okay? You got to get real close yeah. and look into things, you guys. <laughs> look into them before you decide to really make a joke, okay? Lush, you saw that eye. You saw okay. that eye. You saw that eye. Dissect. Yeah. Get, we know, dissected start it. Start really looking. You yeah. know what I'm saying? We weren't happy with even the comment from nobody. But none of them. The ladies involved, too, about bringing up a man actually performing fellatio on another man. And Angela Yee is actually the one in the interview who actually started the conversation and mm -hmm. said the comment in regards to a man performing fellatio on another man. Mm -hmm. So nobody was happy with that comment, period, because as a straight woman like us, we do not want to have that thought in our mind. That's just mm -hmm. for us, another man performing fellatio on another man. If you want to do that in the privacy of your home, that's you. But What you do in your business, your that's family you. is your business. But Tank just made his opinion on it and I think his opinion wasn't as foul as people were taking it. That's the problem. Yeah, they was saying? making it sound like he was like, yeah. No, okay. It's yeah. not like that. No, like he's no, not no. saying he's into that yeah, or he's I don't think he's even it. done that. So the people who's acting like this man has actually been sucking penises for twenty years, come on. Yeah, I think I think the problem is they, everybody speculates that there's a lot of funny stuff going on in the entertainment industry among yeah. these men, DL, swingers. And a lot of them it. are. And a lot of them roll in the same clique. So I guess that's the reason why people are feeling some kind of way. Like, I knew all you niggas was on the DL. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Finally, somebody's confirming, confirming. it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But whatever. Boy, boo Let me So tell anyways. You. It's raining today, you guys. We so love y'all. If you wonder why you hear all that. Yep. Uh, in the background because it's been raining. It's so post your comments, please. Every this is a hot topic, y'all. So please post yeah. comments down here. Let us know what, Let you, us know what you think. Subscribe, like, like dislike and if you want. Dislike if you want. <laughs> but we're gonna be back for more videos. Yeah. Love you. Happy Halloween once again. Oh. Watch some scary movies. <laughs> Bye. Bye.